Hello, welcome to this lesson in AC Circuit Analysis Tutor. We spent quite a few lessons before talking about source transformations and Thevenin equivalent circuits. And uh, you should probably have figured out by now, I've told you a few times, that everything you learn from DC analysis really is carried over as far as how to do it tech technically uh, in terms of AC analysis. It's just now we have phasers everywhere instead of numbers. So we have impedances with imaginary numbers and sources with imaginary numbers instead of the DC versions. But the techniques and everything are all the same. So we have the same sort of thing here. We're going to start talking about node voltage. We're going to start with a simpler problem, very simple problem. But then as we get into more complicated problems, you'll have more and more to keep track of, more equations to write. But the node voltage technique is exactly the same as what you've learned in DC analysis. So if you haven't done that in a while, go back and look at my node voltage problems. I've done tons of problems in node voltage in DC. Uh, once you master that, then you'll be really, really easily transitioned into this. So we have a capacitor, an inductor, a, uh, a uh, voltage source here, a resistor, and we have a current source here. The current source is 10 times the square root of 2. That's the amplitude. The phase angle is 45 degrees. Don't let it scare you. That's just a number and a phase angle. All right. Now this voltage source is 2.4 times I delta, where I delta is defined to be coming down through this capacitor. And what we want to do is find V naught. Now it doesn't say use node voltage method, but since I'm teaching a node voltage, we're going to use a node voltage method to find this voltage, which is labeled here. So when we look at it, we start thinking, what, what are our nodes? What nodes are we going to use? And if you're just starting this stuff, or if you haven't done node voltage in a while, you might say, well, here's a node and here's a node. So I'm going to have two nodes to deal with to write my node equations. But then you realize there's really nothing here in between any of these nodes. So really, uh, everything in the top is all connected together. It's all drawn out in a, in a square fashion to make it easy to read, but really, this thing is connected to one point, this is connected to the same point, this is connected to the same point, and this is connected to